Okay, say it with me and Sarge. We love conversational shaving, don't we, Sarge? Well, hello there, how are you? I've already prepped my face with Village Barber shaving oil. My razor today is going to be this twist to open, non-adjustable Gillette uh, Blue Tip Super Speed, which is fairly light in aggression among the colored tip Super Speed razors. And my soap today uh, is going to be this Figaro the Gold Edition with uh, Argon Oil right there and uh, my blade in there is going to be one of these persona med prep blades and my brush is going to be this kc shave company silver tip badger brush which i've already lathered i'm going to put just a couple of drops of water from the basin here onto the brush dip dip that in there and try to get a lather going on my face here <clears throat> excuse me oh and i hope you're all doing well out there we've had kind of a full spring here now it was warm and now it's uh, chilly again some of my tulips were blooming but uh, i planted some milkweed and i may have planted it too early because we could get a brief frost here the next night or so. I was supposed to wait until, it, it came not as seeds, but as the roots already had been grown and I planted those roots, but it said to wait to plant them until all danger of frost was over with. And we had this real full spring where it got up into the 80s the last two or three days, so. That's part of what fooled me, but the uh, the frost may not be what they call a hard frost. It may not last that long. <clears throat> Let me drain the basin there and wet the razor. About two days worth of growth on my face here, and uh, we'll get started for the first pass, which will be with the grain. Here we go. Oh, and the furnace is trying to come on, so I'm going to disappear for a second. I'll be right back. I'm going to go turn that off. Sorry about that. Here we go. Pass number one with the grain. Yeah, I had to go turn the furnace off. That was starting to kick on, and I don't want to compete with the sound of that while I'm trying to talk. Meanwhile, for anyone who cares to know, the cat's in the bathtub lapping up water <laughs> once again. So we're still running the same old stand here at Conversational Shaving. More of the same. And that's good in some ways because so far... Uh, this razor and blade combination feels very comfortable and seems to be doing an adequate job of mowing down the uh, stubble here. Now I'm going to rinse the razor. Continuing on to the chin here. Yes, very, very comfortable shave so far. We'll see how that goes.
All right, rinse time for the razor again. Okay. The way this is really nice so far. And I was watching videos of uh, a very talented fellow who was singing song parodies about current and recent political events here in the U.S. And uh, he was so talented that he had me singing. And uh, without doing a little practice, I probably shouldn't sing on a video. I am capable of carrying a tune in a bucket, but uh, I do need a little bit of practice. I'm a little rusty. All right, we'll go twist the razor over and go over here now. Again, still quite comfortable. I believe that for the man or woman with, with light to medium stubble, um, this would be a great, or at least a very good razor and blade combo. The uh, blue tip Gillette with a med prep blade. This was the blade's first use, by the way. And I will be right back for pass number two across the grain. Okay, I haven't gone back to the uh, tub uh, for more soap yet. Let's see how this lather goes. It seems a little lighter than the first, but let's just see how it goes here. Across the grain now. Sometimes it seems like for my across the grain pass, I have to work for it even more than the other passes. But especially, well, I guess all over, not just on my face, but on my neck too. We'll see how it goes here though. My video is actually going to be just a little bit late this week because I'm uh, I'm running behind here. I admit I wasn't feeling I wasn't feeling very well earlier. Not sick, sick, but just kind of worn out. So I waited to shave. I am enjoying the shave, though. Like I said. I'm going to go out on the clothesline or out on the proverbial limb here and say, so far, and I'm not quite halfway through yet, but uh, so far this is the most comfortable and maybe the best shave I've ever had with this razor because I've never used one of these med prep blades in this razor. It is at least the, the most comfortable shave I believe I've had with this razor. Because there's something about this razor, even though it's the lighter of the three uh, different uh, kinds of uh, super speed razors, the uh, blue, the red, and the silver, it may be the lightest aggression, but I have had it give me weepers and just give me uncomfortable shaves. I'm not quite sure why. It's got to have something to do with the blades I've used, I guess. You know, the cat's coming out of the tub now. And Excuse me a second. Yes, the cat followed me into the bathroom. And cats will do that, you know, but 
the way he looked up at me, it was almost as if he knew what time it was that I was going to need him to put him on camera for the traditional beginning of my videos as as they've been since I, well, almost since I've had him. I mean, he's trying to get out now. You might have heard him clawing at the woodwork there. There you go, sir. Go ahead. <laughs> he sure is cute. My appreciation to those of you that like Sarge or just like my videos for whatever reason. And uh, I've been meaning to say something, and shame on me for not remembering to say it, but uh, to my subscribers in or from Ukraine, thank you very much for watching my videos and uh, if you're over there in the thick of that war over there, or even if you're not, uh, my heart goes out to you, as do the hearts of many of us. And uh, I hope that if you watch my videos, that they give you some sense of a re having a respite from the war or news of the war or whatever troubles may be visited upon you. I wish you all the very best and I thank you and feel honored to those of you that have been watching my videos. It is a great, it is a tremendous honor. You are some of the toughest and most resilient people I've ever heard of. And at this point I'm going to stop. I will be right back in just a flash for pass number three against the grain. Now, I don't know that this lather looks the best either, but uh, I did go back to the tub and it feels thicker, although it may, be, may have dissipated just a little bit. Uh, I'll go against the grain now. Pass number three, I'll start on my neck. And while I was re-lathering off camera to save time, to save time on the video, I mean, Sarge was out there meowing and uh, I think he just wanted me to check what he already knows, that he has enough food and water and that his litter box is clean. But I think he's still hoping to get some wet food, and I don't have any of that right now. I'll get him some when I can afford to, but he's got plenty of dry food, two different types of dry food. I watched a video that said cats don't get bored with their food, but I might have to disagree with that. <clears throat> Sarge, as you can tell by looking at him, he hasn't missed many meals, but he does sometimes hold out for a few minutes anyway, hoping to get some more wet food. And when we've got wet food, sometimes, sometimes he doesn't eat all his wet food. I don't know if he gets bored with it or what. I know he likes to see me dish it out fresh. Excuse me. Now, uh, just one more time, and I don't mean to be toady or whatever you want to call it, but I would like to thank our Ukrainian friends again. Uh, my friend Dave, who's been in my videos before, is the voice of Agent Maxine, the Ursitz, you know, the sort of kind of puppet that is really a stuffed animal with most of its guts taken out. <laughs> um, Dave was in the military and he, he deserves credit for, you know, he reminded me of what I already wanted to do. He said, make sure you say thank you to those uh, people in Ukraine that have watched your videos. Because it says on my YouTube uh, studio app, that, uh, that there have been a small but loyal number of uh, people watching from Ukraine. So, God bless you all. If you don't mind an agnostic telling you God bless you. A lot of, a lot of us are thinking of you, excuse me. 
Yes, sir. The people of Ukraine were part of the reason that last year, and I'm also planning on maybe doing this this year too, I planted some giant sunflowers in my garden. There were a couple of other reasons for that, to be honest with you. Uh, Paul H., his wife, uh, they have giant sunflowers in their garden, and also I'm, uh, I used to live in Kansas the sunflower state, so. So I am kind of, sort of, from Kansas. And except for visiting, I haven't really been there as far as lived there in a long time. I had a chance to go live there again a couple of times and maybe I should have taken that chance. Okay, that's it for pass number three. So far, so good. I'll be back for pickup. I don't know if you can hear him, but Sarge is purring, and I could hear him outside the door. He was sitting there purring. We'd like to welcome you to pickup time. Isn't that right, Sarge? Can you hear him purring? I don't know if that's coming across on camera. I'll put you back out so you don't feel trapped in here, Sarge. There you go. I'll be I'll be done shortly. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's pickup time. I hope you could hear him purring. Sometimes, even though he acts like he doesn't like to be picked up, when I do pick him up and cuddle him, very often he will purr like a freight train. Let's see, go over here now. When I'm doing pickups, I kind of have, I have my own way of doing it, <clears throat> which I'm not sure makes any sense. Although for my face and the growth of my hair in my face, it makes sense. I tend to, let's see, I forget how I do it. I think I go against the grain over here. No, I go with the grain over here and against the grain over here. And uh, wow, uh, except for some very, very just minuscule things here and there. Wow, what a great shave. I'm going to sit here and gild the lily, for, or stand here, I should say, and gild the proverbial lily for a minute, but it doesn't really need it. Of all the shaves I've had in recent memory, this is the one that I feel like there is less need to sit here and, and, and buff and rebuff, so to speak, the, uh, the, the neck area and everything else. It just feels great. So uh, thank you. I will be right back. Look, everybody, it's our good friend, Mr. Tao. Yeehaw. Ah. Oh.
he's freshly laundered from the other day and I don't think he's been used much if at all I don't think I've used him uh, to dry my face or even to wipe my hands I don't think these have just been hanging around waiting for me to use them to dry my face and to say hello to all of you so what's not to like right <sighs> Sarge the Cat and Mr. Towel here are the true stars of this show. I'm just kind of the caretaker. The caretaker of this channel. The, the producer of this big color TV show that we call Conversational Shaving. Mr. Towel, everybody. We'll put him back where he goes here. And then I will begin a brief recap and I will put the finishing touches on the shave here. Well, first of all, off camera, before I started, I prepped my face with the Village Barber shaving oil. And I let that soak in while I was <clears throat> gathering everything and preparing a lather for my shave. My razor has been this non-adjustable twist to open uh, Gillette Super Speed, the blue tip, which is fairly light in aggression, and a good razor and blade combination because I've used, you see on there, maybe it says Persona, the Persona Med Prep. I've got those, I had one of those in there on its first use. That worked out very well, that razor and blade combination. My soap has been this Figaro Gold Edition with the, uh, well, with the Argon Oil, uh, Cone Oleo uh, de Argon, I believe it says. Right there. Very nice. And my brush has been this KC Shave Company Silver Tip Badger Brush. Right there. And I believe I've covered everything so far. So let me reach over here and get some of this. It's the T.M. Dickinson's Witch Hazel. And I'll pour some of that in my hand and get it going in my face here. Let's get it going in my hands first. This does have, as I've said before, this does have some alcohol in it. And I feel a little bit of sting here, but not too bad. A little bit of feedback there regarding how closely I shaved and and even though I didn't feel it all that much it gives some feedback I guess on how rough the shave might have been but uh, yeah that's real nice oops there it is the TN Dickinson's witch hazel that's available in many stores here and in the UK, I believe. And now something I haven't had on the channel before, which I got recently, it's uh, the gold uh, labeled After Splash. Uh, yeah, it says After Shave Splash, actually. After Shave Splash by Figaro. And I haven't used this yet, but I sniffed it, I believe, and I think I just sniffed it. I don't know if I put any of it on, but it had a fantastic scent, even better than the soap, that may not, may not go exactly with the soap, but goes very well with it. I don't know if it's meant to go exactly with the soap. I'm putting some in my hand down here, off camera here. I get that going in my hands, and what I'll do is I'll put... A tiny little bit on my wrists. Try to get some up here behind the ears, on the temples, and on the back of the neck. A little bit more sting there because there's alcohol in, in this too, but wow, what a great scent. And it is going very well with the soap. This time the scent seems to go better with the soap because I actually just used the soap with it but sniffing the soap and this aftershave splash separately 
it didn't seem like they were meant to go together, but it seemed like they would go together very well, and indeed they do. So this time I'm still getting that great scent from this, which I, I believe is even better than the scent of the, of the gold soap, gold labeled soap, I should say. And I guess the soap itself is kind of gold, come to think of it. But, <clears throat> excuse me, very nice. I'm not coughing because of this. I'm coughing because I was smoking too many cigarettes while listening to somebody sing, a very talented fellow singing song parodies on YouTube earlier. And finally, we're going to finish with this. It's the Men, Men, well, the Nivea Men original post shave balm. Yeah, this is uh, definitely one of my happier shaves. <laughs> It's just uh, just fantastic. Not the best shave I've ever had, but very, very, very nice. It is, to be sure, one of those kind of shaves that will make you realize or remember why you got into this traditional shaving hobby to begin with. Or even if you still shave with a cartridge or disposable razor, but you use software, that is to say soap and aftershave and balm and so forth, such as I have here, you will realize or remember why you like shaving at all to begin with. And this, uh, just, this is great too. And it doesn't clash with any of the products I've used. It's it's all just come together perfectly. It's almost kind of scary. And I don't think I'm using hyperbole in saying this. It's a very nice shave. I've got to go, but on behalf of myself, Sarge the Cat, who's outside, and Mr. Tal over here, uh, we wish you a great week ahead. Uh, be careful out there. Be safe. God bless our friends in Ukraine and all around the world. And uh, peace out, everybody.